So, uh, we can start talk. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we wanted to um, to talk um, today about two things. Uh, the one of the uh, one of the things it's about the uh, Philippine martial art and its history and uh, uh, etc. And the uh, knives and swords. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> Can you tell uh, tell about the history of the uh, Philippine martial arts? Well, you know, the, the Filipino martial arts, everybody has their own version of the history, right? Yeah. And going to, you know, recorded history, you know, the Philippines was one of those places that was located in a place that has always been very strategic. Mm -hmm. Right, and so a lot of migrations have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the Majapahit empires, the Siri Visayan empires. You had uh, Chinese uh, immigrations uh, when they the when the Ming were overthrown. Uh, you know, they went to China. Uh, so uh, the Japanese were there, the Spanish were there, the Americans were there. Everybody has been mm -hmm. in the Philippines at one time or another. Mm -hmm. You know, the Spanish spent 350 years or more there. Mm -hmm. So to me, the Filipinos have taken the best mm -hmm. of every conquering nation mm -hmm. and made it their own mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so they took the best of uh the majahapit empires the siri visayan empires you know which is you know indonesia and places like that uh that's why there's a lot of similarities between the the cultures mm -hmm. and then uh you know the the spanish were there so they had the sword and dagger so they took the best of that. The Japanese were there. Mm -hmm. They took the best of karate. They took the best of the Chinese martial arts and blended it into the martial art that already existed in the Philippines. And so they all, the, the martial art continued to evolve. Mm -hmm. Every time a new invader came, the martial art evolved so that it became better and better and better yeah. you know and so and, and you know and some places in the philippines were never conquered you know fully conquered mm -hmm. if you go to the southern philippines you know their culture did not change mm -hmm. you know the, the their their lifestyles and their weapons are totally different than the northern philippines and so you know, it's, it's one of those cultures that it just takes the best of everything and makes it even better. Yeah, I see, I see. And, and, and to me, you know, that is the history of the, the, the Filipino martial arts, is every time somebody came to try to invade them, they, they learned the tactics, yeah, they yeah. learned the techniques, and then used it against them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And so they always got better and better yeah. and better. Yeah, I see. In what time it it was the first time uh, the basis of the martial arts of Filipino? What uh, what kind of uh, century it was? Well, I think that uh, you know going back, you know, to the thirteenth, fourteenth centuries, mm -hmm. they already had their own martial art. Already. You know, uh, you know the, you know they had their own uh, type of swords that they used. They had their own metal metallurgy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if, if you go to the southern Philippines, you know the swords of the southern Philippines are every bit as good, if not better, than the best uh, swords made in, let's say, Toledo, Spain. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. you know, back then, you know, the Spanish steel was supposed to be some of the best steel in the world. Yeah, of course. But the uh, the steel swords of the Philippines 
are just as good when you look at the workmanship because they were you know the pandais the guys that actually hammered the steel and made the swords you know those were hammer forged mm. you know they took steel they mixed it together they they made uh the weapons almost like the japanese did you know they they, they smelted their steel they 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 did what was called pattern welding mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. yeah. they take the sword and they yeah. they fold it and then hammer it out well Most they players. did the same thing and yes. they tempered it you know that whether they tempered it in oil or they tempered it in in water they still were tempered blades and you could still see that in in the blades that are are really old you know not the new stuff but look at the old stuff mm -hmm. the stuff that is real good quality yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, 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 and 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 all their swords were sharp even the ones that they used for ceremony mm -hmm. you know it was razor sharp it was not uh uh like the japanese they have the parade saber yeah, right which yeah. they wear well it has no edge you know? yes yes yeah but you look at the one that has in the in the in the philippines well, they have an edge, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know and so, uh, so uh, I, I'm hoping that I'm answering your question. Yeah, of course. You know, and and you know, if you need for me to clarify, you know, just ask me another question so that I can continue. Yeah, of course, on. of course. Okay. Uh, um, we know that uh, in Filipino uh, martial arts, it's uh, very much uh, schools we have. Yeah, very much. Uh, it it have some classification of it. Say that again. Uh, um, the Filipino martial arts have some classification of the schools of uh, Filipino martial arts. Yes, yes. Uh, what kind of it? Well, the in the in the Filipino martial arts, okay, you have, uh, you know, they they go kali, arnis, eskrima. Yeah. Uh, uh, they have Sikaran, they have Dumog, mm -hmm. uh, just to name a few, mm -hmm. okay? And and they're all different arts, you know, like the Dumog is the the Filipino wrestling, jiu-jitsu type martial art. Uh -huh. what, 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 the, ki what kind of difference of uh, with, with all of this? Uh, uh, schools and why is, if it uh, so 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 many many schools why is it well the the reason is there's thousands of islands in the Philippines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah and each island has their own style of fighting uh -huh. right it's not like it was one big continent yeah. where everybody's together and you know it's in the old days it was different because each island was its own private island and they had its own ruler uh -huh. and they had their own way of fighting and their own way of defending that island uh -huh. and uh -huh. so each each island was like its own private nation uh -huh. and so they all had their own way of fighting and so and they kept it secret from the other islands mm. because they don't want them to know how they fight because yeah. that's their way of defending themselves yeah of course of course and so and you know you have you know a couple of thousand islands you have you know uh dozens of languages where they did speak different language oh. in different islands yeah and then you have a couple of hundred uh dialects which are again different right yes and so they 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 were all separate so they all had their own oh, oh, but oh, there's oh. a lot of similarities mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. maybe maybe it have some uh the basis of uh, the similarity uh, maybe you you know some something the the basis of it well the uh you know like like i was saying before you know, the there there's it's a sword culture. It's right? a sword. It's a knife culture. Yeah. And so uh, the similarities are in that there are only so many ways that you can cut. Mm 
right? You can cut this way, you can cut that way, you can cut this way, you can cut that way, and you can go straight, right? Yeah. yeah. There's only so many ways that yeah. the human body can move. Yeah, yes. And so when you find truth, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Technique that is real. Yeah. Right? There's only, you, you know, everybody's going to discover what really works and what doesn't work. Of course. And that's what stays. Yeah. And so, yes, there's going to be similarities because you know what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Yes, yes. The right? things what, what, that, that works. Yeah. You know? And so, you know, that's what I believe, you know. And so, when, when, uh, when you're cutting somebody here, yeah. right? You know, you cut, chung. Yeah, there's only one way to do that cut, yes, right? Of course, of course. And so, or you're cutting this way. You know, well, hey, you know, okay. that that's a one and a two. Yes. Three, four, yeah. five, right? Yeah. And so, you you just find the okay, the similarities come yeah. because it's a it's a knife culture, and there's only so many ways to do something right. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And so, uh, and again, you had your conflict, right? Mm -hmm. Where this island is fighting the other island. Yeah. And you see how they fight. Yes. And then you go, oh, I need to learn how to defend against yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, the, they start to learning, they take the yes. more effective things. Perfecting the technique by actual fighting yeah right yeah it's because if you don't fight how are you gonna know that well, your stuff is going to work yeah of course yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah and so it's like going on paper and saying if he does this i do that if he does this i do that yeah if he does that i do this yeah yeah well, it's not like that you know <laughs> it just happens too fast yes right and so you have to be schooled in all the different ways yes. right yes. you have to train and you have to train for every possible type of encounter i mm -hmm. always say how can you defend against something you know nothing about yes. right yeah, yeah if you don't if you don't know knife fighting can you defend against a knife fighter no yeah. because you know nothing about knife fighting Right, you have to know what they know, or you cannot defend against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand. Um, can you say about the the weapons? What kind of weapons uh, it has? Uh, the, the the Filipino martial arts. Okay, the the weapons of the Filipino martial arts yeah. are the Taliban, Taliban, the uh, the Barong, mm -hmm. the Kampilan. Mm -hmm. They have the bolo, mm -hmm. they have the punyal, mm -hmm. right? Those are just some. They have the spear, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yeah. The bow and arrow, mm -hmm. the blowgun, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Huh? And, you know, and even modern, more modern weapons, they okay. have uh, uh, what's called the uh, pana, pana, right? Yes. What is? They take a big nail. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. They flatten out the tip. Uh huh. With a, with a hammer. Yeah. Then they sharpen it and make a barb like a hook. Uh huh. Then they take rope, and they put it on the back, and they make it like a fletching. Uh mm -hmm. With a rubber band, and they just take that nail and, you mm -hmm. know, it's just very deadly, you know, and so, <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Silent, you know, you, you don't yes. know until it hits you, you know. So there's a lot of different weapons mm -hmm. in, in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the hope, everything. Oh, of course. Uh, what kind of uh, the swords and what kind of knives it has? Well, the knives in the Philippines, you know, they have the butterfly knife. The butterfly. Right? You know, which you know a lot of people see this, right? You know, the the this one here. You know, has curves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one. Yes. Okay. The other one is the regular butterfly knife, right? Mm -hmm, you see mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah. So you know, you're you're in here. You know, you're doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and and so you know, it's just 
you know, this a knife from the Philippines. Yeah. You know, they, they have so many different knives. You know, the, uh, you know, they use the, the karambit, which is the, the curved knife, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, there's, there's a lot of knives. They even have knives that, and swords that look like the Japanese stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's others. Mm -hmm. You know, if I knew you were going to ask, I would have brought a couple more out. You know, <laughs> and so because I have some in the closet. You know? yeah, yeah, but you know the, uh, but there's there's a lot of knives, a lot of swords, mm -hmm. and they're very good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at using them. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, of course. You know, to me, you know, when 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 you're when you're doing this, you know, that's just playing around. Yeah. In real life, I'm just gonna have it like that. Okay. You know, and, yeah. and I'm not going to, you know. You know, I'm gonna come through. You know, and and it just, I'm not going to play, right? Yeah, yeah. To me, this is playing. This is showing off, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna use it. You're gonna use it for real. You know, you're gonna use it like that. You know, you're gonna use it like this, right? But you know, it's just you're going. You you don't want to be playing. You know, while you're playing, you're gonna lose it, right? Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> uh, you, you have to be serious. Yeah. Yes, this is pretty, looks nice, you know, you're but out there and and everybody goes, wow, right? Yeah, yeah. No, simple. Remember, simple is effective. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It is something that, that works. Yeah. Uh, the, about the knives and the swords, uh, the more... Um, mm, what kinds of uh, the old times uh, it has, uh, or or it it was all, all types of it. It's all types of swords. All they, types. They're, uh, the 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 variation. You know, when when you look at an old an old sword. Okay. This is right. the Filipino sword. Uh, this is uh, Southeast Asia, uh -huh. right? Which is in the the same area. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, you know you look at that you know this this is hammer forged. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, Damascus type steel, yes. very sharp point. You know the point is so sharp that you know you don't need even you know it just goes through something so easy yes. because it's so sharp you cannot see the point. Yes. It's like a needle, right? And so when, when they're using these kind of swords, mm -hmm. you know, they're not very long. The swords are not very long. Yeah. So, because they like to get up close and personal, yeah. right? Uh, the longest sword that they had was the Kampilan, which is a two-handed sword. Two-handed. Yes. Mm -hmm. But most swords are about 20... Nine inches long, twenty-seven inches long. You know, maybe thirty, mm -hmm. about the same same length as the the sticks that they use in Filipino stick fighting. Yes, yes. You know, it's about the same length. You know. Yeah. And so again, you know, when you're using this, you know, yeah. this is again, you know, just you know, just very uh, very fast. Yeah. You know, because it's it's it's. Uh, not very big. The longer it is, yes. slower it's of course, going to of be. Course, of course. The shorter, the faster. Right? And so that's why when when uh, when you're looking at uh, at these swords, right, they have to be uh, uh, they're fast, right? Yes. And so they're very 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 hard to defend against because of the speed. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Oh, well, well. When, yeah, yeah. when you can do six or seven cuts in one second, <laughs> that, that's fast. This is very fast. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is this is sword is very old. Uh, probably from the 1700s. Yeah, this is very old. It's <laughs> it's it's very similar um, to the sword that that has uh, the pirates. Were very uh, similar. The the Fili uh, the, Fili the Philippines uh, ha has a pirates, I think. Yes, they yeah. have pirates. The, I, yes. I I think it's uh, it has some part of the 
martial art of the pirates. It's the kind of for for the ship ship fighting. Yes. Yes. It, it has a, it it has a big uh, uh, part of the martial arts of Filipina, or it's not so much. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the uh, the Philippines uh, has always been an island nation. Yes. And to travel from one island to the other, you have to go by sea. Of course. Right. And so yes, they 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 were seafarers. And you know, part of their culture is learning how to fight at sea. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, you know, that's why when you see them fighting, you know, most of the people when when you see the real, real old masters fighting, yeah, very, very low stance mm -hmm. because they're not standing straight up and down because of the ship moving. Yeah, right. Yeah, the ship yeah. is moving. It's yeah. going up. Yeah down yes. sideways yes. front back and around right yeah, because yeah. the ocean it, it just yeah it's just moving yeah and so if you're standing straight up and down the boat goes down yes. you lose your footing yeah of course so the so the so the the stance is very low it's very low because it also develops your legs yeah and so you know that's why not a lot of kicking yeah or, yeah right because yeah. if you're on the ship yeah you can't you can you, you throw a kick and the ship goes down yes. you go up yes 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 right and so <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm a sailor <laughs> uh, you're a sailor i was in the navy 22 years yeah so you know when when i'm out at sea yeah. and i'm training yeah real low stance because again yes, the ship yeah, is course. moving you're moving, <laughs> right? Yeah. You get back on land, mm -hmm. then you can stand straight up and down and move. But on the ship, no, yeah, no. right? Very low stance. Yeah. And so, uh, and again, when you use weapons, you don't want to kick because you kick, they cut your leg off. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Of course. Because the sword is long. It is long. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so, uh, the uh, so you can tell. If the fighting style is from land or sea, yeah, by the way that they yes, yes, fight, yes. by the way that they stand, yes, yes, you know? yes. and 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 uh, you know, there's a lot of what we call flow in mm -hmm. the Filipino martial arts, mm -hmm. you know, where one technique blends into the next technique that blends into the next technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just not, it doesn't stop, right? Pa, 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 pa. Yes. It's very, very fast, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. The techniques are always changing. They're in motion all the time. Yes, yes. You know? And so that's a characteristic of the Filipino martial arts mm -hmm. because they're not stopping. They're not going. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's just quick. It's, and, and, you know, a lot of, you know the the greatest uh, heroes of the Philippines. They were all sword fighters of one type or another. Yeah, if, if you look at like uh, like Aguinaldo, mm -hmm. you know who was one uh, uh, Emilio Aguinaldo, who was one of the uh, leaders. I think he was uh, a revolutionary in the Philippines. What and, what time is it? It was. Uh, that would have been in the uh, 1900s. Uh, okay. okay. He uh, went to Spain mm -hmm. and he was known to be a fencer. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, so yeah. He learned, you know, Spanish yes, yes. fencing. Yes. You know? And so a lot of the, uh, the old masters in the Philippines knew how to use the traditional uh, Spanish fencing techniques also, yeah. you know, because they learned from the friars, mm -hmm. which were the uh, the Catholic uh, priests back in the eighteen uh, hundreds and in the seventeen hundreds. They were the a lot of those priests were known to be swordsmen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. in the old days. Can you tell please about um, 
about the masters of the Filipino arts, the, the, mo the most important uh, masters of the history of Filipino ar uh, martial arts. And uh, from the old times and uh, uh, some masters of the, uh, this time, now. Okay, well, going back, uh, we have uh, General Faustino Ablin, mm -hmm. who uh, fought in the uh, Spanish-American and Filipino-American wars and had a big price on his head. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's one of going back to the uh, 18, late 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, you have Floro Villabreo. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, uh, late nineteen hundred, uh, late nineteen hundreds to, uh, uh, you know, he was the undefeated uh, full contact uh, weapons champion of all the Philippines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, to me, you know, to be a a master. Okay, I you know. Because too many people call themselves masters. Of course, you know? of course. Yeah, uh, like my master, great grandmaster Pedoy. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what made him a master to me? You know, one, he taught from his heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, at the age of ninety, mm -hmm. his mind was sharper than mine. <laughs> Short mind. You know, yeah. you know, he was like a father figure, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I know. and he was also like a spiritual mentor and guide, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you know, that, you know, and, you know, that, and he was born uh, in uh, 1900 or something like that, right, you know. Another person that comes to mind is uh, modern uh, Rafi Pambuan. Mm -hmm. Okay, not not a lot of people know him, mm -hmm. but he's good, really, really good. Mm -hmm. You know, and one highly skilled. Okay, yeah. unselfish. Unselfish. Yeah. Unselfish. Okay very kind heart yeah. you know so a true example of the martial arts right yeah, yeah. it's not out there going <laughs> you know yeah yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. very humble yeah right you know the the most dangerous people like me are not the people that are yeah you know it's the ones that are very quiet yeah. Right? Yes, yes. The ones that are calm inside. Yeah. You know? Those to me are the true masters. Because they don't need to be loud. They don't need to be, uh, you know, in front of everybody saying, look how bad I am. You know? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's the ones that that don't talk very much. Yeah. Just the do. ones that, you know? You know, those, you know, you know, and Dan Inocento, uh, again, you know, the, the late uh, student, you know, he was a, a student of the late Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And, and he has spread the Filipino martial arts throughout the world, you know? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of good people out there, you know? Yeah, and, uh, you know, Grandmaster Nari Babao, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, again, another great martial artist, uh, and so there. There's so many, yeah. but you know, those are a few that stand out to me. You know, Dinoisio uh, Cañete from the Cañete family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, Dose Pares. Uh, so you know, there's so there's a lot of good people out there. And, you know, I don't want to mention everybody because it would take forever. Yeah, of course. Right? Because there's so many. Yeah, yeah. But the, the key is 
you have to look and find the true master that's going to fit you personally. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. yeah I know, I know. Thank you very much. Uh, While well, we had the break, I went and picked up a couple of... <laughs> <laughs> right so so this here is like uh from the uh the spanish american war mm -hmm, mm -hmm. philippines you know uh it could dated back to that time period and so if you see that you know it's the the curvature and the handle Mm -hmm. And then when you look at the blade, you know, it looks almost like a Japanese point on the, on the sword. Yes, yes. You know, but again, it's, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the workmanship, right? So that, that would be another type of, of sword that was used in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, This is like for, for the, for the ship. Uh, ship fighting for uh, it, it's it could be for ship fighting. Yes, uh, for for the yeah. short distance. Yeah. Wow, you know, something like this, right? Yeah. Uh, the the scabbard is very nice, yeah. you know, and you know, wow, it's, it's very short, you know, very pointy. Almost like the the kukri from Nepal, because of the shape here, yeah. you know. But it's it's, it's made to uh, stab and chop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and when you look at that, it's only sharpened on one side. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so the other side is not. So what 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 is it for? Well, this is the. The type of uh, knife that was used by the Pulahan. What is Pulahan? The Pulahan was a rebel movement mm -hmm. in the Philippines, and they uh, right out, they fought the Spanish, yeah. and after the Spanish, they fought the Americans mm -hmm. because they wanted independence yeah. from Spain and they wanted independence from. All Europeans. Yeah, yeah. So after the Spanish-American War, the Americans came in, and they go, "Wait a minute! You look just like the Spanish, yeah. you know, and you're trying to take over, you know." And so they, there was a war, and the war lasted for almost five years, right? And it was the uh, the Pulahan movement was uh, one of the movements that that fought against the U.S. Mm -hmm. General Faustino Ablin or Papa Faustino Ablin was one of the leaders of that movement. Mm -hmm. He was also the teacher of my teacher. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> And this is the favorite knife of the, okay. the Pulahan movement. Can, can you uh, tell some um, the tactic of the work with, 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 with this knife? It's, or, or it's well, a sword. It's it, it well it's it's like in between a knife and a sword. Yeah, yeah. And so the the tactic was always to get behind the movement, mm -hmm. get behind and close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So not stopping the blow, but passing the blow. Mm -hmm. Right. And so if you pass, you come in. You pass, you come in. Mm -hmm. and so. You're you're not fighting against the the bigger opponent because the Americans were a lot bigger. Yeah. The Spanish were a lot bigger than the Filipino people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so you were using their energy, their strength, to get behind them, mm -hmm. to get behind the blow. Yeah. To where you're safe, and you can take and dispatch your enemy. Yeah. 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 And so. You know, when when you look at you know uh, you know weapons like like this one here. Wow. You know, and so. You know, <laughs> oh. you know, when you look at the the shape. You know, this is uh, very. You know that that is uh, hammer forged. Uh huh. You know it, the the steel, 
and you know, uh, you know, this is steel, this is brass, this is uh, buffalo horn. Uh huh. The horn from yeah, the yeah, buffalo. Yeah. And so, you know, it's it's pretty thick, but it's light, very light. Very light. Yeah. You know? But but it's meant to slice. To slice. You know? To slice. We don't we don't have the uh, garda here. No guard. <laughs> why? 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 Why it's, it hasn't? It's, it hasn't. Well, it, this was used in the jungle. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, the uh, they come out of the bush. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> you know, it's this is the everyday yeah this of sword that you carry with you all the time. This is not so uh, for the fighting, this is for the forests, uh, for, for the... But they used it for fighting also. They used, yeah. Yeah, a lot, you know, because you look at this, no guard. Yes. Okay. You look at this. No guard. No guard. Of course. Okay. So they, they are have some, uh, some swords, some knives always in the life for working. Uh, right. so and they use and they, 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 they use it they for use the it fight. For fight. Yes. yes. Then you you have something Whoa. like this, right? <laughs> yeah. And so you see the the fist. Yes. Right? Yes. You know? Guard. Yeah. This yes. one has a guard. Yes. <laughs> wow. Right. So again, you know, very very fast, very fast sword. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the guard is used for disarming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you take the weapon away, right from the other opponent, yeah, it keeps you from getting cut. Yes, yes. You know? And so again, it has a guard. Yeah, you know? yeah. This yeah. is this is from uh, the uh, the revolution from in the, the Revol Philippines. Uh huh. You know? uh -huh. And so again. Uh, Curved blade, hammer forged, and very fast, very fast weapon. Yes, you know. It, it, why, it's, why it have uh, the 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 wave uh, design, the the, the, the wave, wave uh, It just they say that it makes uh, a better wound going in mm -hmm. and coming out, uh, and. Uh, and so you know when they stab, mm -hmm. they 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 stab this way, you know, mm -hmm. flat, not uh -huh. this way. Why? Why is it like this? Okay. Well, if you stab this way, the ribs. Uh -huh. get, yeah, you know, I understand. Right. You stab this way, goes in, <laughs> comes out. Goes out. Right. Yeah. In between the ribs. Yeah, and yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. And so again, you know the uh, uh, the so a, a lot of the different swords they 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 they, they, they were all very fast, very fast weapons. Yes. So that when you're cutting, you know it's just you want to be able to del deliver multiple strikes. Yeah. Within fractions of a second, right? Yeah. It's not like in the movies where you go, bing, 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 yeah, and, yeah. and it's, no, it's bing, 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 bing. It's just so <laughs> fast that yeah, yeah. you know, just you don't have the time to to respond. You know, it's yeah. just it has to be fast. Yes, yes. Huh? You said you said that um, in the history they have some uh, the long swords with two handed. Uh, yes. What what for it? They. they uh, the uh, the the Kampilan, and that would be from the southern Philippines. Mm -hmm. it, that is a very big, long sword. Mm -hmm. Now you, that one, uh, I can send you a a picture of one. Yes, yes. You know, Thank but you. I don't have one. I used to have one, <laughs> but I. Uh, I gave it to somebody. Yeah, yeah, I got, it, I got. It. <laughs> they, they, they are some uh, like like the their the Templars has to handle the the 
the, the, they're different in that the handle and the guard are made of wood. 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 Yeah. You know? Oh, why it's... And, 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 and there's metal in the wood. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The, the, uh, the, the bottom of the, the, the handle yeah. looks like the mouth of a crocodile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. And actually, I have one similar that has the mouth of a crocodile, yeah. but I didn't bring it out. Uh, but uh, the uh, they're very long, and then the point comes out like this. You know? Oh, the like yeah, the hook. Yeah, so, I I see like uh, some sorts like like this. Yeah. You know, so it looks some, something like this, but the hook comes out longer. Uh huh. Yeah, like up like this. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's right. You know, and so, and and the scabbard is open on one side. Uh huh. Yeah, I understand. So, so when they don't have to pull it out, you know, the judge just they tie, they tie it with string. Yes, yes. And when they use it. They hit you with the sword scabbard and everything. Uh, it cuts through the string. Oh. And it's out of the scabbard. And then they continue fighting with it. Mm. So, uh, so there's a lot of... Uh, Where a lot, yeah. A lot of weapons, you know, oh, in, in the Philippines. There's so many. Just like there's a lot of islands and a lot of cultures, yeah. there's a lot of we different weapons. Because yeah. each island was a little different. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 And, and and the same thing. You know, when you use the spear, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The spear again. That's hammer forged too, right? Wow. So when you look at the spear, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know, that's hammer forged. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You look at how it's put on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah. This is long. It, it, yeah, it's very long. It's very long. It's, yes. Right. But again, you know, big blade. <laughs> yes, yes, right? yes. You know, and so you know, this is old. This is yeah. very. Old, yeah, know? yeah. Uh, and again, so you know, so the, again, you know, when they're using this, you know, this is you know, when you're poking, you yeah, know, yeah. just or defending and poking, and you know, is you don't you don't throw it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I... You throw it. Now you have a weapon. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> But it just gives you an idea yeah. of, of the the weapons. You know, there's so many. You know? Very, very many. The the in the Philippines, everything is a weapon. Everything. Mm -hmm. You know, from yes. Yeah, you know, that's a weapon. Yeah, you know? of course, of course. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a culture of the weapon. Yeah, cell phone weapon. Right? Yes, yes. Use, use it to hit. You yeah, know? of course. Everything is a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Soundings are a weapon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you tell me, please, about the uh, traditional, uh, tragic and tactic and the strategy uh, with the knife and sword work? Well, the uh, traditionally, right? Yeah. The the knife and sword work you have to put a lot of hours mm -hmm. into training yeah of course your mind your reflexes mm -hmm. okay to be one you know uh, you know you have to be mentally prepared mm -hmm. and physically prepared Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You cannot have one without the other. Of course. Of course. Uh, uh, you have to uh, work on uh, being able to respond mm -hmm. without having to go, if he does this, I'm going to do that. Right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. It's, that's too slow. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? You have to train yourself to respond instantaneously. Yeah. Which means he moves. Yeah. 
should be over. <laughs> right? Yes, the, yes. If he moves, boom, that's it. You got to be able to take him out that quick. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you have to be able to, you know, predict the uh, strategically, you know, the changes and when they're needed. Right, yeah, yeah. because you know, again, it, it all boils down to doing it, doing it, doing it. Okay, if if I don't practice it, I can't do it. You know. Yeah, of course. It's uh, you have to be able to respond. Your mind has to be so fast that everything happens in at the subconscious level. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Before it becomes thought, it should already be a response. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so, you're training your mind to be faster and faster and faster. You know. That's why you train with weapons, yeah. because training with weapons makes your mind faster. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because the weapon is faster than the empty hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can punch you two or three times, four times in a second, right? Uh, but the you get a guy that's really good with the knife, six, seven cuts, yes. if not more, yeah, in a second. So how do you respond to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of By course. Doing it over and over and over, you know. Yeah. And so you have to have the constant training you know the uh, you know working your strategy mm -hmm. right so a lot of people's strategy is somebody comes with a knife they try to move away yeah right? yeah so yeah. you move away what do you do you give them more time to continue coming at you yeah yeah right they move in you have to move in yes right because you need to stop their movement you need to take control, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you have to take control over them, because when they're coming and attacking you, and you're moving back, they are in control, because they're moving you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to take that away from them. Yeah. You have to get that control back. If they're trying to cut you, well, you're gonna try to move them back. Yeah. Right. So it's hard to try to attack me if you're going backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? So again, you have to take control. You have to uh, smother their technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you know, and so that to me, that's the logic. You know, the the uh, the the method that you need to use. When they come in, you have to go in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Because I see. you know the weapon is made to give you distance. Yes. Yes. Right. So I move away. I give you what you want. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Of course. I'm giving you the distance. Yes. So that you can use your weapon. Yeah. Yeah. I have to take the distance away. Yeah. So that you cannot use your weapon. Yeah, 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 I understand. Can you say about them, what part of the martial art uh, with the swords and the knife uh, is the footwork? The footwork? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The footwork is, again, the triangle. Mm -hmm. That's what we use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I use the, the male triangle. Mm -hmm. The male triangle this way. Yeah, yeah. Female triangle that way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, of course. the male triangle more for one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Where I want to come in and smother. Mm -hmm. The female triangle oh, yeah. more to the sides. Uh -huh. That's because there's more than one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so I have to take and place each attacker in front of every other attacker. Mm -hmm. So try to line them up like ducks. 
you know? Yes, yes. Uh, um, so that when there's a lot of people, you're only fighting one, mm -hmm. right? Because if you have three people, the biggest guy in the middle, you attack him, the other two get you. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> right? You know? And I always teach, go to the left, mm -hmm. which is their right. Yeah. And the reason for that is everybody's right-handed. Uh -huh. Attack, Yes. right hand, right? Yeah. I go to the right, so now I got three people. If I'm here, I go here. Now line up, right? Yeah, and so, they can, can't work. So these two guys have to go around him to get to me. Yeah, yeah. You know? And so I try to do that, you know, line them up. Mm. So I use them against each other. Yeah, yeah. If he tries to hit me, I use his strike to hit him. Yeah. Right? So you guide the guy's weapon into the other guy. Yes, right? yes. And so you have to use your attackers against each other. The more there are, the more they get in each other's way. Yeah, yeah. You know? And so, and you try to do that as a strategy. Mm hmm Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. Um, so, um, the, there, uh, in Filipino martial art, there have some uh, different uh, different types of the knives. Yes. Have have it some uh, different uh, tactics with it, and um, that I I wanted to to ask um, have is the um, Filipino martial arts the stiletto. Okay, you know? you're asking if they have different type of knives, right? Yeah, have they have they uh, the different types of the tactic, and uh, have it the stiletto and the tactic of it. Okay, the uh, again, you know, it's going to depend on the type of martial art and where it originated. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. Okay, so if I'm in. You know, in some of the Filipino martial arts, you stop the 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 uh, the, the cut. Uh -huh. You know, and so you know, a lot of people. You know, I'll just pull this out for a second, just so that you know, when when they the strike is coming in, yes. right? Yes. They like to cut the 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 hand. The hand, yeah. And so they go cut, and then they come in, and they go from behind. Uh, they'll they'll cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, right? Yeah. And so they're 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 working on the inside, okay? But you still have another hand. Right? Yeah. So you yeah. have to watch out for that. Yeah, right? of course. That's why I like going on the outside. Mm -hmm. Right. Because now once I get behind, your other hand's too far to hit me. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I always try to get the safe. Mm -hmm. you know? Of course. And so uh Again, you know, the, the, the knife is fast. So when you're in here and you're going, pa, 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 boom, you know, you're, you're just, it's just, you know, you're slicing, you're slicing, you cut the arm, you come back down, you finger jab the eyes. Yeah, yeah. And then you cut the, 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 the artery, right? Boom, you know? And so, you know, it's all quick. You know, this is all, you know, when you're doing the motions, mm -hmm. it, it's all going to be very fast. But again, you know, it's going to depend on your system. Do I want to go on the inside, or do I want to go on the outside? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, if I want to go on the outside, I'm I'm really safe. You know. Yes. Yes. Again, if I do go on the inside, but I'm passing, you know, if I'm in here, I cut the hand, but then I go for the other hand. So now you have no hands. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. But uh, again, that's the way that that we we try to to do this. You know, you have to uh, stop, and you also have to, uh, when, when you're using the knife, you know, if the blow is coming, coming in, if I do this, right, and the guy's coming in hard, he can still cut me. Yes. A lot of times when you're doing this, you know, it's like uh, Bram Franks, you yeah. know, a yeah. real good knife guy, you mm. know, he goes, if you come in, if you're defending with the knife and you're you're stopping the cut, yeah. protect your neck. 
right? Yeah. So, you know, you, you put your hand here. Yes, yes. So they don't cut your neck in case you miss, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, you know, so you're in here. Yeah. So you're doing this, then you can come into the eyes and, yeah. do, and do your stuff, right? But you have to protect. Of course. You have to protect the inside of your arms. Yeah, yeah. And so you don't block here because you get cut here. Yes. You block with here so that if you yeah, yeah. cut, you know, you're not going to bleed out, right? Yes, and yes. so, again, you know, there's a lot of good schools out there mm -hmm. and there's a lot of fancy stuff. You just need to find out the difference between what's fancy for show and what's real that's going to work. Yes, right? of course. And so, because, you know, one, I'm putting on a show. Two, no show. It's going to be, it's my life or your life. Yes. And yeah, it's going to be simple and direct, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's like in fencing, you know? In fencing, you're coming in. You yeah. know, straight, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But this is not the stripe. You're going, and then you're coming up. Yeah. Right? yeah. So like, you're coming here, and they go, ah, oh, it's coming here. No, it's coming here, right? And so you, you know, and so it changes at the last minute. Yes. Right? Or at the last second. Oh, second. And so you go to the thing down here. Yes. It's not there. It's here, right? And so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so it's it's very fast, and so. The movement is deceiving yeah, because yeah. what you see is not what's really happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so you have to get good at what they call engaño. Engaño means to deceive. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, when I'm going here, this is not the strike. This is what I want you to see. I want you to see this, right? Because I come in and then <laughs> at the last second, you change, right? So it's not what you see, you know, it's, it's, the, it's what I want you to see. Of course. You know? Yeah. I want you to see this so I can put something else in there. I yeah. want you to respond the way I want you to respond so I can make my stuff work. Mm -hmm. So I make you move, I make you give me the opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So if you bring your hand up, that's where I'm going, right? Because you're not going, oh, you know, and all of a sudden the knife is not there because it changed direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's going to be so fast, you I know, see. it just, that's why, you know, when, when you see me fencing, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you notice I do everything with my right hand, right? Yeah. Okay? I'm a natural lefty. Okay? <laughs> this right? Is... So, I, I put a video on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It shows it with the sword in the left. And I come in, boom, quick, guy's dead. That, that quick, you know? The, you can't even think it's so fast. Of course. Right? Because yeah. it's real time, you know? But, you know, I am a left-handed person. I train 90% of my time with my right. Yes. So now, they're both good. <laughs> yeah, th this is very important, very important. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I can do with this, I can do with this. This is know? great, yeah. And so, when you're also training both sides of your brain. Yes. You know? Because you're, you, if you're not right-handed and you train yourself to fight right-handed you have to use a different part of your brain yeah you know? and so again it's all making your brain because everything i can do with this hand i can do with that hand you know and so uh that that has to be part of the your training of your methodology right you yeah. have to train both sides otherwise you're only half a fighter yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Because only half works. Yeah. They, yes. It's yeah. both halves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, but, you know, your reflexive reflect, 
re reflexes yeah. have to be instant. It has to be bam on the dot. You know, it has to happen that that quick. You know, they, there cannot be any lag. You know, uh, it's that's why I say that you have to train your mind and your body both both to sides be faster and faster every time because it's like a computer, yeah. right? You have a slow computer. I have a fast computer. Yeah. I can compute faster, yes. right? Yes. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm training my computer to be faster than your computer, which means I'm going to be there first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Filming.